Hey there and welcome to our E36 era BMW uh, clutch bushing replacement informational video. Um, this is not going to be a step-by-step -step video, I actually just went through this process and to be honest with you, I was way too lazy to do a step-by-step -step video about it, but uh, I'm going to share what I did learn, which I believe is the most efficient way to uh, get this taken care of. So, um, What you're looking at here, and apologies, this is really tight, I'm upside down my feet up on the the driver's seat over here my head kind of like under the uh, under the dash with a camera and two flashlights under here so I'm gonna do my best to point things out um, clearly but at any rate on um, what you're looking at over here this right over here this is the the clutch pedal itself okay now there's a couple a number of things bolted to this thing that you need to kind of get out of the way in order to get to the bushings and the bushings I'm sorry, there's just no way that I can even show you where they are with all the stuff bolted in here with the camera. It's too dark and stuff, but they're way up at the top of the arm. Way up there, you can't even really see them from here. Um, people mess around with, this is the, the spring over here that everyone talks about with compressing it with zip ties and all that stuff. Don't don't mess around with that. There's no need for zip ties. I'm gonna show you how to do it without, uh, without having to screw around with zip ties and all that stuff. So what you're gonna do in order, um, in this order, First thing you're gonna do is go up to, can you see it over there? This bolt over here, which actually runs through on the other side. Um, well, actually, let's point a few things out so you know what's what down here. That's the clutch arm. This is the spring. This over here is the master cylinder, okay? This bracket holds the brake light switch and the clutch switch in place and um, you got the bushings way up top over there. So now all these things, the spring, both down here and up on the top, have pins that hold it through. There would normally be a circlip over here holding this pin in, but I didn't reinstall it yet. The clutch master cylinder over here has a, uh, I don't know if you can see that. No, you're not gonna be able to see it from here, but there's a pin that goes through and holds that in place. Kind of over here that would have a circlip in it. Um, that's reinstalled, but you can't see it. And then there's a circlip that holds on the, uh, the bushing's way up top, okay? So here's what you're gonna do. This bolt over here, it's 10 millimeter. It's on the other side of this. Put a wrench on that, take the bolt out. Just take it out completely. Once you get that bolt out, get this bracket out of the way, it just pulls right off. Don't even need to mess with the electrical connectors or anything, but just uh, pull the bracket out of the way. Once you get the bracket out of the way, the circlip that holds the master cylinder plunger into the clutch pedal itself, you can pop that off very easily. You have plenty of room to do that, and then pop the uh, the rod out that holds the the slave cylinder plunger or the master cylinder plunger into the to the pedal itself. Now, once you have that master cylinder undone, this spring over here, the the clutch pedal will uh, it'll pivot far enough where you don't need to do anything with the spring. It'll just come out nice and easy. Um, this point where it rests up over here. It'll just come right down. You don't have to do anything with zip ties or anything like that. You're going to put it back together in the reverse order. Um, but when that happens, you're going to be able to just pull the, the pedal back and you'll be able to get right at these bushings that are way up there. Okay. Now there's a circlip on there. Don't try to mess around with the little shaft that's going through the main bushings that you're going to replace. It's welded into place. Okay. The pedal moves. The shaft does not. The pedal will move towards the passenger side of the car and you'll be able to get the pedal out nice and easy. So take it out, put the new bushings in. Um, you're pretty good to go at that point. When you go to put everything back together, don't mess around with zip ties. You don't need to, okay? What you're gonna do, the very first thing, you're gonna put the bushings in, you're gonna slide the clutch pedal back in place onto the top pivot point over there where the bushings are. After you get that done, you are going to put the, uh, well, I guess you don't have to put the bracket in place first. You can do the spring is like either the second thing or the or the bracket. It doesn't matter what order you do them in. Um, probably the spring, maybe the second thing. Get it put together. Put it on the pivot point up here. Put it over here and just push the pedal down with your hand. It won't take a lot of force to compress it. You can kind of just hold it with your elbow or whatever and um, just wiggle this. Uh, can you see from that side? Wiggle this master cylinder plunger into place and put the pin through there. Um, by doing by undoing this bracket over here and getting the, the pin out of the master cylinder and doing the master cylinder first as opposed to the spring first, you don't have to mess around with uh, you know, zip ties or anything we get because you have plenty of uh, play in the pedal to get the spring in without having to, to compress it first. So 
um, leave the spring out, compress the spring, then put the master cylinder in. After that, you can bolt this bracket back in, you know, put your electrical connectors back together if you took any, uh, any out, and you are good to go. Just make sure you got all your circlips in there to hold everything together, make sure it's nice and tight, and, um, you know, that's pretty much it. Sorry I can't make this a little bit more clear. Um, I got a fisheye lens on the camera because anything else I was using was just, uh, you know, it was way too close to see anything that was going on, so. Um, I don't know, I mean, the good news is it's not all that bad. If you do things in that order, it, uh, I mean, it took me about an hour to do this, and that was kind of messing around. I know I could do it a lot quicker now that I, uh, have developed a little bit of a, a plan. The, uh, the bad news is I replaced my bushings up here, and I still have this, like, side-to-side -side slop in the pedal. Um, I took everything apart again, and then I put, a. Uh, Went down to the hardware store, got a nylon washer to put up there and kind of shim the uh, the bushings up. And that helped a little bit, but there's still definitely side-to-side -side slop in there. So I think really what needs to be done is just the uh, the holes where these pins go through are probably just worn on the clutch pedal itself. I'm just going to replace the entire pedal. Um, I mean, you can get them online, I think, for like 30 bucks. Like my one parts, Tisher. Tisher BMW has got them for like $27 plus shipping. So I'm going to pull it all apart again. Replace the entire uh, clutch pedal itself. At that point in time, I think I may uh, may try the UUC bushings or something like that to see if I can tighten it up a little bit. This car's always had an issue with a little bit of pedal slop that's kind of annoyed me. So um, definitely, when you have your clutch pedal out, take a look at what the uh, what the wear looks like on the the plastic itself because you don't want to wind up doing this twice like me. So I don't know. Um, I hope that helps some people. Again, don't mess around with zip ties. Do the uh, do the spring first, do the master cylinder second. That'll give you plenty of room to, uh, you know, put the spring in without having to compress it first. So a lot easier if you ask me. Um, hope that helps. As usual, any uh, questions, comments that you have, feel free to shoot me a message. And um, as usual, thanks for watching.